continuing the news. Northwest St. Anne Member of Parliament Dr. Dayton Campbell says PNP President Dr. Peter Phillips should not ruin his legacy by allowing his inner circle to turn him into a poppy show. Dr. Campbell says scientific polls and two recent PNP by-election losses are among the reasons why Dr. Phillips should be removed as party president. Abka Fitzhenley reports. Dr. Campbell made the call during a fire address last night at a PNP meeting at the Cumberland High School in Colin Fagan's southeast St. Catherine constituency. I hear people talking about this special delegates conference thing. I may have said to Dr. Phillips, Sir, I look in my camera and talk to the leader of the party currently. No, but nobody talk to Tony in a puppy show, yes, sir. This argument will resign and run back for the same post. No, but nobody turn in a puppy show. Your legacy is too rich for you to allow persons to take you and turn you into a puppy show and a laughing stock for this country. Don't allow them to put your legacy in jeopardy. Don't allow them to do it. Dr. Campbell is a supporter of Peter Bunting's challenge to Dr. Phillips. Dr. Phillips' supporters have been pushing for a special delegates conference before the annual conference in September to decide who should lead the PNP. But Dr. Campbell says that would mean that many delegates would not be allowed to cast a ballot. You have 426 groups that are in abeyance that if you were to have a special delegates conference, them paper group, they would not be able to come vote now. So how can you argue for people who are not doing any work and fall off the books to have a vote, but people are in the organization doing work not to have a vote? This could never be the party that carry needs to court and stand up on constitution, now coming to trample on their own constitution. This movement here, sir, I don't want nobody to come watertight now. Dr. Campbell noted a Don Anderson poll, which shows Dr. Phillips badly trailing Prime Minister Andrew Holness. He used the poll and two PNP by election losses to oppose an argument made by PNP Vice President Damian Crawford for Dr. Phillips not to be challenged. If I were to poll in my seat at 12% and my opponent poll at 48%, I would not be allowed to run for the People's National Party. They would have take me out and give somebody who have a better chance to deliver the constituency. When people come and tell you about it's not the right time, I hear my vice president tell me, say, footballer play, and he my striker, and Dr. Phillips are the keeper. Well, when we go down to South East St. Mary, we get one. We go over Portland and we get two. And if we are not two love, the courts are going to make a change. And we are going to get eight minutes every year. Eight money, yeah, yeah. Dr. Campbell also told his audience that the PNP has a tradition of using polls to decide who should be allowed to contest a post. He says that tradition was used in the East Portland by election when it was decided that Andrea Moore should not be the PNP candidate. Dr. Campbell argued that the same principle should be used to decide Dr. Peter Phillips' fate. That not changed now because we are talking about the leadership of the party. We must take out who in there if them can win and put in somebody who can win. This is about the people's business. Abka Fitzhenley for Nationwide News. Time, the PNP Divisional Conference, where Dr. Campbell was speaking, was attended by some of Dr. Phillips' supporters, including Party Vice President Damon Crawford. Dr. Campbell urged Mr. Crawford not to waste political capital by supporting Dr. Phillips. <laughs> them start listening to our other people, them still not uh, here, so they need to start listening. Boss, well, a big up to the Vice President of the party, and I want to tell him, sir. I want to tell him, say, don't spend political capital on something when are worth it. Save up your capital because we are going to need it. Dr. Dayton Campbell, Campbell, a Peter Bunting surrogate. But speaking shortly after, Mr. Crawford indicated that he'll continue to support Dr. Phillips' efforts to defeat the Peter Bunting challenge. Dayton Campbell, respect, good night. I'm going to say big up Bunting because... Is not undeserving of consideration. It's not undeserving. However, everybody know that my opinion differ from many that are on the table here. Me, I bring greetings on behalf of myself and on behalf of my candidate, Comrade Peter Phillips. 
Mr. Crawford made the case for Dr. Phillips to remain party president. He also urged comrades not to allow the leadership race to destroy the PNP. I have seen in the person I support a committed person. And so therefore, I will go around and campaign for that person. And I am campaigning with the others like Lisa who have seen the same and the others like Wickham who have seen the same. I ask that you do the same thing, but acknowledge first of all that anything that cannot be repaired should not be done. Anything that cannot be wiped away should not be done. Because there is no way that I can win with a third of the PMP. And there is no way we can win unless we have all. Damien Crawford, PMP Vice President.